friends, the Lord be with you. And also, also, also. Thank you. Let us pray. Direct us, O oh Lord, in all of our doings with your most gracious favor. And further us with your continual help. That in all of our works begun, continued and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name and finally, by your mercy, obtain everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Friends, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to be with me this evening. It has been, as you said, it has been 500 days, actually 507 oh. days since many, many of us gathered for my consecration on February 8th, 2020. 500 days or 50 years in COVID time. Um, and so much has happened. But, but just for a minute, let's go back and, and, and take a quick look at that time. Anna's put together a lovely piece. I give into your hands this pastoral staff. You know what to do with it. to do with it and together we have known what to do with it together we have found our way it's not been easy i i remember the day that phil dinwiddie texted me to tell me of his beloved parishioner dying of covid it was the first person that I knew of from our diocesan family to die. And then the days and the weeks kept going and I heard of more and more people. And I remember there was a period when Andrea Morrow just had person after person after person in Wyandotte from her community succumb and even losing her beloved caterer who used the church's kitchen, who I met succumbing. So many people in so many places. And then there were all the people who, who died of other ailments, of not of COVID, but we weren't able to get together and to mourn and to do in a familiar way what all of our faith communities, what all of you do so well, liturgical, pastoral and sacramental care. So hard it was, so thin, so spare it felt like, and yet we did not let all that was daunting get in our way. Remember when we pivoted 
and in the midst of our own pain, raised more than $225,000 to feed hungry people in South Central and Southeast Michigan. And then, and then you all, you got Zoom accounts and everyone learned how to share their screens and to mute and to unmute and then to mute again. And, and, then, and then we fought off Zoom bombers and, and Facebook Live snafus. And so many of our clergy now have television studios in their home offices. And our choirs learn to sing by themselves two recordings so you could all be mixed together to sing in bingo box Brady Bunch squares of our lives. And you bought cameras and editing software and hosted daily prayer morning, noon, and night. And you longed for the Eucharist and offered all that was holy. And oh my God, you all were amazing. And this is the hardest thing that most of us have ever lived through. And I am so honored, so glad, so happy that I have been on this journey with all of you as your bishop. There's no group of people anywhere that I would rather be doing this with. And we have learned so much about each other. These 500 days and a handful have given us, I think, a solid foundation upon which to build. And summer is here. And I just want to thank you, to thank all of you so much for all that you've done to carry us through this time. And we've got a lot more to do. And summer is here and summer demands that we rest and that we restore and that we renew and more importantly that we eat ice cream maybe as often as we say our daily prayers and so to thank you as a, a token of my admiration for all that you've done to celebrate your accomplishments and to mark summer, I'd like for each of your communities, if you'd like to, to have an ice cream Sunday. That's Sunday spelled S-U-N-D-A-E, S-U-N-D-A-Y. An ice cream Sunday, Sunday. Um, and I'd like for you to eat as much ice cream as you'd like during a July coffee hour. And my staff and I are delighted to make that possible. Um, so Anna, can you tell us a little bit about how we might pull this off? Yes. So um, if you look at our beautiful website, um, the slider that's got ice cream on it um, is a great place to start. Um, we'll also be posting this on our website. We'll be sending it out in emails. Um, so it'll be very easy for you to find this information, but um, all you would need to do to request the funding is to fill out this beautiful form. Um, so literally just um, enter all of your information. You'll be sent a confirmation form um, with all the information that you need. Um, if you have any questions at all, um, Crystal Ramirez will be able to help. Her email's right up here and you'll be emailed her, her contact information as well. Um, so we're hoping to make this really simple and easy for all of you. Um, it's not a problem if multiple people from your congregation um, submit. We're not asking particular people from your congregation to submit, just whoever is in charge of, um, whoever would like to be in charge of the Ice Cream Sunday Sunday. So, thank you. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions at all. Happy to answer. Thank you, Anna. Um, friends, it's been hard and it's, it's not over yet. Um, but what I, but I want you all to know is that you are truly amazing. And I am so grateful 
to be your bishop. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And eat lots of ice cream, lots of it. And if you're lactose intolerant, eat sorbet, really good, high and raspberry. And then there's a beautiful lemon and sometimes a lovely tangerine sorbet. Um, enjoy friends, breathe, take in the summer. Um, and know in the fall, oh my goodness, we have so much that God is calling us to do. So thank you. Bye guys. Say bye. goodbye. You can say bye. 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 Peace. And we are Peace. blessed bye. to have you for our bishop also. <laughs> oh, we have with the Aussies. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly a blessing and refreshing to have such an enthusiastic, wonderful pastoral person who is in charge of us. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you, friends. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Call if you need anything. Thank you. <laughs>